Welcome back to the Witcher Enhanced Edition. We are here in this little uh, fishing village which seems to be occupied by a lot of thugs. Now we've taken down a few of them. Apparently there is somebody's house towards the back here. Um, Harren Brug, I think his name is. We've got a lot of quests now to do anyway. This one's locked. Isn't there a house at the back here? Uh, Harren Brog's house is what we're looking for. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, there's probably a lot that we can we can find around here. Let's just check out these barrels and uh, grab the Kedwinian Stout. Um, some weak alcohol, a few more orins as well. And a silver ruby ring. I'm, I'm kind of running out of space here. We may need to go back and uh, go back to the inn and find a place where we can store some of our items. Um, I just realized on the map as well that we have... I don't think I went to the blacksmith. I think I completely skipped by the blacksmith and uh, it's kind of one of the good things about uh, this game is that you can completely miss something which is really important because <laughs> um, it is just so massive. Uh, let's just have a look. Where is this Harren Brug's house? Or maybe I spoke to those guys anyway but they didn't really want to talk to me. Oh here we go. Is this a different entrance? Oh, okay. Hello, fellas. Get lost. I wouldn't arm a dog, What's that? but I'd crucify any elf. Okay, a little bit of chicken and some flint here as well. There's a, another barrel. An old chest with some uh, whetstone, Matina's rosé, and I think... Oh, there's a thug lying on the ground. Humans. Surprise the earth doesn't... I don't think that's that's his house. I don't think this is the house I'm looking for. Is there is there something else? Is there another house around here? Let's just take a quick look around the back. Or is it this one over here? Maybe one of these over here. We'll go and have a look. There looks like uh, a little dog kennel there. Okay, can we just follow this guy into into this house? Uh, if I can, why can I not get in there? Oh, there we go. Harren's house. Oh, this is the one. Uh, Harren Brog. Okay, we're gonna have a chat with him uh, once I've looted all of his stuff. Let's go and grab all of that. I think I'm running out of iron. I'm running out of space. Raspberry juice. Um. I can only stack seven bottles of water at a time. Is there anything else that isn't really stacked properly? I wish I could put these contracts somewhere. Or maybe it's begun. Now that I've right clicked on it, maybe the, the contract has begun anyway. I need those uh, Barga skulls. I guess I'm gonna have to leave the raspberry juice behind. Uh, let's go on. Can I? No. No, okay. I'm going to have to leave it behind. We're going to have to run back to the inn um, because I've got no more space. And I'm going to have to store some of this stuff. Anyway, let's have a chat with Harren Brog. Good, good greetings to the honorable gentleman. You are? Harren Brog, merchant and middleman at your service. What brings you here, w Witcher? What do you have to offer? The re reverend sent you, I presume? Uh, no. Of course. Well, why don't I b believe you? Take a look at this. What? Is it a ring or something? Uh, maybe we can make an arrangement. I can bribe. We'll talk later. I'm going to talk to the Reverend first. I want to talk to the Reverend about this guy. What else do we have in here? Uh, against non humans, we do have a pamphlet, an invitation to magic. Um, oh, I can drop stuff. Uh, do I really need the water? Let's, let's remove the water there. I'm going to grab this book and uh, have a read of this. It was then that the, the elven wise men called the sages gathered in the dungeons beneath Rainhold Castle. The eldest of them said, The day and the hour have come. We are here to discuss the fall of humans. 
We will avenge the death of Lara Doran. We will shed their blood and drown the world in chaos. We will hide in the forest for 500 years while the Chosen live in human cities and become their neighbours. Everyone knows their place in the plan, whether elf, dwarf, gnome, sorcerer, or Nilfgaardian. Whoever betrays us is doomed. We will call ourselves superiors because we have no lords over us and we spit on gods. Then all swore an oath and each drank the blood of the innocent child from a golden chalice to seal their obedience to the plan. Look, it sounds like there's going to be some kind of uh, uprising against the humans. That's what that sounds like. Uh, is there anything else around here? Okay, let's... Let's actually go back to the inn first and see if I can sort out my... Um, find a place to store my stuff. Oh, we might as well go to the Reverend first. We'll do a bit of a loop around uh, to the Reverend. Who's this guy sitting down here? He's a thug. Yeah, lots of thugs around here. So, Harren Brog is probably not a very nice guy. But uh, I'm just going to just continue exploring this. I'm surprised these guys aren't just attacking me on sight. Is there any... Oh, there's, there's a cellar down here. What do they have? What do they have hidden away down here? They've got a little bit of loot. Uh, Rivian Crack. Okay, cool. Let's let's get out of here. Let's go and ch have a chat with the Reverend. He sounds like see, he's sounds like someone we need to uh, need to have a chat with. There's one more house over here that uh, I want to check out. Uh, brawler, thug. There is an, an old chest. Another whetstone, I'll grab one of those. Let's have a look in the wardrobe. I'm surprised I can just run in here and just loot everything. Um, there we go. Cupboard. Uh, transfer all. Okay, let's leave the rest of that behind. There is a laundry basket. Can't grab a shawl. I've got a red shawl already. Okay, let's just leave that behind. Don't think it's going to be uh, that important, really. Okay, I think we've pretty much checked out the uh, this little village here. So we're going to carry on. Ah, the Reverend is probably at the church over there. I might as well follow this path through. Yeah, it looks like this is another entrance into the Zima. And um, I'm not gonna not gonna try and get in there at the moment. There's a lot of people wandering around. spoke of you. Oh, I can't carry that uh, that lager with me. They have another uh, upstairs area here. And who is this? Old towns. Old townsman, old townswoman. Another dresser here with some red women's gloves. Do I want that? We've kind of read these books, haven't we? I don't think I need to keep them. Conspiracy of the Non-Humans here, and we've got um, The Betrayal of Witches, an anti-witcher pamphlet. Okay. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave them here, and uh, I can pick up just a few more items uh, along the way here. I'll leave them don't a few books. Killed. What is this? Torch, weapon, light source. 
Oh, right, you change it for the uh, the knife there. Oops. Um, chance of critical effect incineration. A torch uses a weapon cannot be combined with the Witcher combat styles. All right, I don't. Can I place it up here? No, I think that's for the silver sword, isn't it? Um. Do I want the dagger or do I want the torch? I'm gonna hang on to the dagger for now. The torch may come in handy against uh, creatures that are susceptible to uh, fire damage. But for now, I'm just going to hang on to the weapons that I've got. Let's have a quick look. Oh, there's a lot going on here. A stall keeper. All right. Maybe I can sell some of my crap. Excuse me? You a witcher? How did you know? Saw one like you recently and asked the reverend. Never learned his name, but he wished to enter the city. Did they let him into Vizima? I know not. He approached the reverend, perhaps for help. Anything else? Nothing I haven't said. That doesn't help me much. Hmm. Uh, this meat looks odd. This meat looks odd. <clears throat> What's it from? You smelling or buying? Shouldn't answer a question with a question. Where it's from is my business. Customers aren't exactly lining up. Hmm. <laughs> Tell me more about the other Witcher. I know little. So try to remember what you already told me. He spoke with the Reverend, then took his leave. He seemed fearful. Thanks. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can sell off some of our crap. Uh, what is she selling here? Beer fat. Top quality base for blade coating, some chicken and goose fat. Hmm. She's got some animal animal stuff here and some, some different t kinds of animal fat. Let's sell off uh, all of our bread. There we go. Uh, we do need to clear out some space in our inventory here. What else is she buying? She's buying some chicken. We can sell it for five, and uh, she sells for 25. So it looks like um, we can sell it for one fifth of the price. Cow's milk. Might as well sell off uh, the cow's milk here as well. I'm going to sell the chicken as well. All right, beautiful. Blueberries. Are they used for anything other than just eating? Chicken leg and uh, a mutton leg. All right, I'm going to sell off the chicken legs. There we go. Got a little bit, a uh, little bit of space in our inventory now, so we can loot a few more things. Don't um, get killed. I'll try not to. There's another torch here. I'm just going to leave them behind. Uh, lots of uh, different drinks here. Is different. that so? Drink or not, you may prove useful. A couple more mutton legs there. Uh, this door is locked, and is that so? Okay, we need to find the Reverend. Let's go out and find him and uh, stop harassing these people and taking all of their stuff. Uh, but I just can't help it. I just have to explore all of these houses. I have to know what's inside just in case it's something uh, really important. This house is actually pretty big. Check that out. Uh, townswoman. They've got a, quite a nice big meal here. More blueberries, another chicken leg. I'm yes. just going to leave, leave the chicken leg behind. Local pepper vodka. Uh, okay, we can use that as a base. So that could come in handy. Let's head on upstairs and see what else they've got up here. Don't get killed. All right, let's go. Let's go. with this guy 
Um, now where is where is that church? It's got to be around here somewhere. I think it's a little bit further down the street. Oh, the door to the reference house. Here we go. This is who we need to speak to. Stamelford's dust. I uh, definitely need that. And what's he got in the wardrobe here? Amber. Okay, I'll grab that as well. Is there a secret uh, basement here? There is. Um, let's... Uh, Ithleen's prophecy, the legendary prophecy of the elven prophetess foretelling the end of the world. Uh, we got some flint here. Let's go and read this book. The prophecy of Ithleen uh, Egli Avon and Ithlinus Beath. I tell you that the time of the sword and axe approaches, the time of the wolf's blizzard, the time of the white frost and white light, the time of madness and disdain. Um. Okay. Time of the elves, huh? Fair enough. Uh, I'll leave that there. Leave that there for the Reverend to, to read. Um, he's not home, apparently. Is this the same guy who's been following me around? Every time I step out of the house, there's this weird guy leaning left and right. Um, okay, he's... The Reverend is probably in the house. So, let's see if we can... And find him. Hide your women. Oh, there he is. There. What's he doing? He's praying. Be gone, devil's breed. Calm yourself, priest. I merely wish to speak with you. There is nothing to speak of. Indeed, there is. I seek Salamandra. I heard they come here. They'll kill us because of you. I have ways of showing gratitude. What ways? You're troubled by a beast. Not your business. I'm a witcher. I could help. Another witcher came recently. Berengar. He promised to slay the beast, but fled when it howled. I'm not Berengar. If you want my trust, bear the eternal fire's light to the people and dispel the darkness. You'll find five chapels around the village. Fire won't scare the beast. This is more than a stray dog. The eternal fire, blasphemer. You can be sure it will scare off beasts. For it has been said that though his soul be in darkness and his visage be a horror, do not judge him hastily, for he will carry the flame of hope into the night. And also, you shall only be safe in the glow of the eternal fire. All right, but it will cost you 100 warrens. Very well, but the eternal fire must appear at night in all five chapels. Okay. I hear the Church of the Eternal Fire has offered a reward for drowners. I hear the Church of the Eternal Fire has offered a reward for drowners. As long as you can prove you killed some, I'll return with proof. Hurry. Speak quickly. Um, are you the Chaplain of the Eternal Fire? Are you a Chaplain of the Eternal Fire? Yes, heathen! Only the Eternal Fire can save us from the White Frost. Really? So says the prophecy of Ithleen. The elven witch. Is that so? The old world will die, to be born again from a seed that will not sprout, but burst into flames. You seem to contradict yourself. You mock me, Witcher? So tell me, who gave you leave to meddle in the affairs of humans? You, an emotionless mutant. Answer, who? He's been reading that book down in the basement, hasn't he? Um, the eternal fire, no doubt. The eternal fire, no doubt. Return to your dark life, heathen. Uh, one more thing. One more thing. Speak quickly. I need to know about the salamanders. Um, I'm looking for men who wear salamander-shaped pins. That's not wise. Why? Vexing them may shorten your life. Do I look scared? Another witcher came here before you. He too swaggered with audacity. And yet, do you see him? 
Not likely. He fled. He's not me. Do not sneer at Salamandra. The whole village fears them for a reason. You must convince us all. What can I do? For me, destroy the beast. As for the others, visit Odo, Mikkel, and Haran. Can you solve their problems, too? Are they elders of some sort? Everyone knows and respects them. Odo's rich, Haran a merchant, and Mikkel a city guard. Gain their trust, and you'll win the trust of the village. We'll see. Wait. Ah. They need to believe I sent you. Show them this ring of the eternal fire. Uh, drag and drop signets in the highlighted slots to activate the signet gameplay dialogue. Okay. Left click the signet in conversation to present the ring. Okay. Did I grab that in my inventory? Where is this ring? It's not that one. Oh, I've been given some candles as well to light the flame. Where's this signet ring? Um. Maybe it doesn't go into the regular inventory. I'm not sure, but I, I can't see where that ring, ring is. It didn't drop on the ground, did it? Um, so yeah, that's what uh, what's his name was asking for some proof that the Reverend sent us. Uh, we can't get into the uh, the chapel, it seems. Um, what is the time now? It's uh, it's daytime. It's nine o'clock in the morning, so we have the the whole day to light these fires. Oh, this is where we need to light them. Okay, so at night time we need to light these uh, these eternal fires. There are five of them, I do believe. So I guess we can run around and do some of the other quests while we're waiting. Just have a look and see if there's any important houses over here. What is this red house? I'm kind of standing in the way here. Oh, that's the shrine. Okay, so the shrines have been placed on the map now. We've been given uh, some more information about the... Uh, the revered local townspeople, Odo... Haran Brog and Mikkel. So we can go and visit those as well. I guess we've got the whole day, so we may as well just have a have a trip around here. Go and visit Odo, and uh, maybe if we can have a trip down to the uh, the crypt as well. Do I do I want to keep going into all these people's houses? Not really. Um, grandma, grandma. Something must have happened to her. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, every time I come out, there's this dude staring at me. I, I guess I shouldn't be just wandering into their houses. Um, who's this guy? Stop. Uh, what are you? A witcher. We're militia. We keep the peace. I'll be going. We need to see you're not ill. I'm immune. Don't know what that means. We got a check. What's that? Eh, uh, chip. Well, do you, well, you look foul, but healthy. Move along. Godspeed. <laughs> you move. You look foul, but healthy. <laughs> oh, what a thing to say. All right. I guess they're guarding the the village, but um, I came in the other way, fellas. They're guarding the wrong entrance. I guess I did do a bit of a loop around, didn't I? All right, let's grab this loot now. How do we how do we find Odo? I guess we're just going to follow the road uh, along. I can pick up some of the Celandine uh, as we go. Here we go, and there is a sign here which I can't click on. Um, I'm not going to go and check all these houses unless there's r some real reason to do so. Oh, 
I work too hard. Okay, let's have a little trip around. Lots of chickens around here. Wonder what happens if I if I Oh, I can't use my Why can't I use my uh, my sign? Maybe I need to be in battle to use the sign. The dangerous one bearing weapons on your back. Isn't it's growing, uh, growing a few pumpkins here. Let's head around to uh, to Odo, see if he's got a quest for us. So there are three people that we need to convince, um, and he's going to be the first. Sometimes in these abandoned houses, well, at least in one of them, I think in the last episode, we killed one of those barragasts. Let's go and have a look and just. Check, yeah, an abandoned hut. So, it's not really much in here, but there is a little bit of loot that we can grab. Half eaten corpse. Uh, there was another dagger. My father's sword is bigger. Really? These little kids running. Why are these why are there little kids running around everywhere? This says boo. Three, four, fangs galore. Five and ten. Run away if you can. I think they're playing Chasey. Uh this house is locked. Okay, Odo, where are you, buddy? Where is Odo? Unknown herbs. We need to get a little bit more information about collecting herbs. Hang on a minute. Somebody's died over here. Got a lot of stuff on them as well. Ten orins, some tulips. I can't can't grab the tulips. Okay, I don't need the book about the frightener anymore. Uh, when, once I get back to the inn, I'm going to put all of these contracts away in a uh, in storage. Um, let's carry on, I guess, to the south. Oboe's got to be... Where is he? He's down here. Oh, there's a cave down here. Not really going to Odo's house. I'm heading towards the cave, but it looks like there is another uh, quest down here. So we're going to go and check out this cave while we've got a bit of time. Looks like well, we've come across to the Circle of the Windy Wanderer. Circle of... Is this another sign? There we go. Oh, that was some kind of a buff, I think. Um, I think we did get some kind of buff. Can we have a look? Uh, medallion vibrates, signaling lurking monsters or sources of magic nearby. Current mode detecting monsters. Art sign intensity increased by 50%. Time left 1 hour and 33 minutes. Beautiful. Okay, so it sounds like a good time to head into this cave here. Um, there are a few rats around, and uh, let's see what we can find in here. We do have the whole day to explore before we need to complete the main quest. Hopefully there's not going to be any trolls. Can I... No, that did not work. What is this? I can't check out the cauldron. There is an unknown herb here. I guess we can come down here collecting some stuff. Once we know what we're doing. Corridor. Entering new region. Corridor. Oh, we can rest at this campfire. We haven't leveled up yet, unfortunately. Um, oh, here we go. New talents acquired. Oh, maybe we have leveled up. 
I'm not sure, I didn't notice. Let's go and have a look. Oh, we've got three talents. We are now level... Uh, we're currently level four. Now we've got three talents to spend. What I wanted to do was... I think it's intelligence. Uh, we need information about the Drowners before we can complete the, the Drowner quest. So we're going to have to spend one on Monster Lore. I think that will give us information about the Drowners. I hope it will. Uh, what else do we want? Uh, stamina. Dexterity here. Uh, we'd increase the ard sign <clears throat> uh, intensity if we really want to use that. Um, I'm tempted to continue going for the, the weapons stuff here. Bleeding plus 15%. Crushing blow damage plus 22%. That one sounds pretty good. This is for strong steel. Uh, fast steel, we can do the same thing as well. Uh, let's do damage plus 20% with the hail of blows and that is all of our talents spent okay we're getting some information now about these different animals which is fantastic different beasts um, hopefully it's gonna be the drowners are gonna come up as well ghouls beautiful Cadaverines, Gravier Bones, Gravier, Drowner's Brain, there we go. Is this a... Oh, I'm back at the exit, I'm running around in circles. Let's carry on through the cave, um, through the corridor and see what we can find here. Yeah, oh, is this it? Can we get... I don't think I can get past here. Oh, that's it. Just a just a campfire down here, and an unknown herb. That might, that might be really rare, actually. So I may need to come back here once I know what what that does. And uh, we still have a little bit of town, a little bit of time. Oh, that is circle of the elements. So that. Apparently does give us a bit of a buff. Alright, now we're going to go find Odo, see what quest he has for us. Um, oh, it's midday, so we've still got a few hours. What is this shining over here in the... Which is Medallion. Set the medallion to detect nearby monsters or magic. If set to detect magic, the medallion will vibrate near places of power. To set the medallion, meditate and open the inventory. Then select magic or monsters detection. Oh, brilliant. Oh, so that's a place of power. So is my medallion detecting... It's currently detecting monsters, but we were able to detect that place of power. I guess just to tell us about how to use that medallion. So we do need to meditate to change that. I'll probably change that to... A magic detection? Can I run across the field? I think we're going to have to run all the way around. Unfortunately, I don't think we can climb over uh, these fences here. So we are going to have to go the long way around. Um, just to find Odo. Where is my horse? I need a horse. Um, is that another... Shrine? That's another shrine there. Beautiful. Alright. Royal Huntsman. Right. Greetings, Witcher. I'm the local hunter. Greetings. Wonder how I know you? No? So be it. What do you want? I'm looking for Witcher's work. I'm looking for Witcher's work. Since you're here, a monster supposedly haunts the lake shore, devouring peasants late getting home. A ghoul may have made its lair in the crypt. How much for each? You witches do nothing disinterestedly. Kill a monster, bring me proof, and I'll reward you generously. Okay, is this the same monster? Or are these two different monsters? 
Uh, did the peasants say anything more about the lakeshore monster? Did the peasants say anything more about the lakeshore monster? Just that it hunts by the lake at night and kills people. Okay, another monster for us to, to hunt down. What does the creature from the crypt look like? What does the creature from the crypt look like? Perhaps a standard ghoul, but who knows? See for yourself. All right. How much do you collect for a drowner? How much do you collect for a drowner? It's my professional secret. Come on, we're in the same profession. It seems so. So, how much for a drowner? Depends, but on average, 80 orins. I've never come close to that. I knew something was wrong with those prices. Calm down. Progress wherever you look. Only witchers, the relics they are, still work for a pittance, while being called freaks by those they do favors for. A fair day's wage for a fair day's work. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Take care. Okay, so he hunts drowners as well. It sounds like I've got a little bit of competition and he apparently is getting paid a lot more than me for it. Um, all right. Where is Odo? He's down the next, uh, down the next street. Um, these houses do look abandoned. Let's see if we can find any more barragasts in here. Um, nothing. All right, let's, let's go. Salt Peter, high quality base for bombs. Okay, so we're back to the main camp here. Do I want to run into the to the inn first of all? Let's run into the inn. Uh, just drop off some of my junk and oh, wrong way. And uh, then we'll go visit Odo and see if we can convince him that we're we're a good guy. I don't want it to get too late, but time seems to be going fairly slowly, so we should have time to go and do that. Um, and there's a blacksmith around here as well. Oh, there we go. He's not here at the moment. Come on. Oh, because it's raining. They're all hiding here because it's raining. Oh, there he is. There. Now he's got a beard. Greetings. Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes many times. Today, in fact. Calm down, I just wanted to talk. I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not to miss the funeral. Make sure and show up for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. What's so innovative about that? Nothing, but think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can I ask you something? Yes. Okay, who are the Scoyatel? Who are the Scoyatel? Terrorists, or firebrands, you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Scoyatel is elven for squirrels, called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. Interesting. Uh, will I find any around here? Will I find any around here? You aiming to catch me off guard, or just nosy? In any case, I'll not answer you. Fine. I wouldn't want to cause you trouble. Let's talk about something else. Yes? Um, okay, let's talk about weapons. Let's talk about weapons. Well, I'm no specialist, though I can forge swords. Bring me three different ores and I'll forge you an excellent steel sword. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll look around for some ore. I'll look around for some ore. Another thing. For 35 orins, you can have this excellent sword, Grease. 
It's not exactly uh, legal, but uh, I really need the gold. Uh, I'm not interested. Yes? See you later. Some rain. Okay. Let's head in to the inn once more. Geralt! Oh, he's back. Zoltan, I found these strange dice. Looks like dwarven handiwork. Zoltan, I found these strange dice. Looks like dwarven handiwork. It's poker with dice. Very entertaining. Requires less attention than cards, but it's just as exciting. Dice are a dwarven invention. Became popular after the war. Not surprising, given that every mercenary played. So how do you play? Let's shoot around, I'll show you. Okay, earn money by playing dice poker. Place your bet and left click. Roll dice. Raise your bet and select the dice to roll again. The player with the best poker rank wins. Some characters require you to play extra rounds. Okay, um, start a game. Uh, how much do I have? 285 orange. We'll bet three. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's roll the dice. What have we got? Uh, hold on a second. What have we got here? Is that a six? Uh, we've got to oh, we've got a pair of fives here. Three, four, five, six. If we get a two, uh, we're gonna have a straight. Uh, you've got a pair. Opponent has a pair of sixes. Uh, no, opponent has a pair of uh, fours here. All right. Let's see if we can get. Uh, let's. Looks like this game could get uh, fairly expensive. Do I get to roll again? Do I get to select my dice? Okay, let's remove that one and that one. I'm going to keep the six. Hopefully we'll get to roll a six here. Nope, but we do have three of a kind. Uh, how many times do we get to roll? Okay. <laughs> Matches one. We have to play another round. Okay. Let's go again. Did I just get four ones? Um, opponent has two pairs. Does four of a kind beat a full house? I'm going to bet 30. Opponent is betting. Beautiful. Oh, we need to win two matches. Okay, the little horseshoes here. Um, okay, beautiful. We won some money. We got some money. Thanks, Zoltan. Show, showing me how to do that. Um, Kalkston. He's the alchemist. The, the weird alchemist. There's a lot of people in the, uh, in the tavern today. A lot that we haven't met before. Declan Louverden. Uh, there is a gambler here. Uh, we may be able to play with him as well. No need to um, rush. Finally, uh, someone sensible here. And you are? Louvarden, merchant. Of those Louvardens. Of those or not, I sense you have a job for me. Unfortunately. My friend disappeared in the cave beneath Vizima's walls. You think he's dead? I don't know. I'll pay you 200 orns to rescue him or provide for a decent burial. Will you take the job? All right. My friend tried evading the quarantine to enter Vizima. Why through the cave? We heard goods were smuggled into Vizima that way. I'll do what I can. Be careful. My friend has dealt with monsters before. If he's dead, surely danger follows. I went down into a cave and... Who's this? It was just a dead end. Is that where we need to go, though? Place of power, the cave. Maybe there is another cave? Oh, there it is. It's over there. Cave beneath the city. Okay, it's a different different cave. All right, beautiful. Um, can we can we bet with this gambler? You don't look like one to be lucky at love, but I wager your luck excels at dice. I know a bit about the game. Sir, I wouldn't cheat you. 
An honest game's what I propose. Honest? Why choose me? No one else is willing to sit down with you. Risk is your daily bread, that's clear. I'd consider it an honor to play you. My pouch is as empty as a smith's bellows. The peasants round here have nothing but cabbage to wager. A hunter, a worthy opponent, used to fancy a game, but I haven't seen him in a while. I'm not surprised. I don't doubt you fleeced him. To be frank, he loved high stakes, yet the dice disliked him from the outset. Who is this hunter you played? Who is this hunter you played? Must have been quite a lover, for I've never seen such ill luck on a man. He lost a lot of orans. Watch out. Love wanes. He'll be back for his gold. I think not, sir. You could smell the loser in him a mile off. The debts must be keeping him away. Okay, so we can play poker with him. Let's have a go. We're going to start a game with one oran. And uh, see if we can beat this guy. Let's roll the dice. I think we need to win two matches in order to win the game. And uh, we've got a pair of fives here, and we got two pairs. Beautiful. So we're going to go for a full house. Um, let's increase the bet. Uh, we're going to roll the four again. And uh, we do have a full house. What has the opponent got here? A pair of fives at the moment and a pair of threes. So two pairs against the full house. We win that round. Let's uh, proceed to the next round. Ooh, we've both got three of a kind. I'm going to accept the bet for now. Do I want to go for four of a kind? I'm going to risk it. Let's try for four of a kind if we get lucky. Come on, come on. Yes, we did it. Aha, we won. Beautiful. Okay. We won eight orange, apparently. Thanks for the game, Gambler. Let's have a look and see who else is here uh, during the day. A few travelers. Uh, there's Vesna. I think I offended her last time I was in here. In here. So I don't know if she... She would want to talk to me again. Let's just get rid of some of my crap, what first of all. Do for you? Um, okay. I'd like something stored. Okay, so there's a lot of space here, which is fantastic. All right, let's get rid of these gloves. Can I just double click on them? Yeah, I can. Let's get rid of the the water. Do I want the amber? Let's get rid of the amber. Let's get rid of... Got a lot of flint here. Let's get rid of some of that. This can be used as a base. I'm not exactly sure what kind of stuff I want to keep at the moment. Let's put our contracts away. Um, oh, this is the ring, the fire signet ring. All right, let's let's go and uh, put the put these rings away as well. I'm gonna just to wear the signet fire ring. Um, let's put some of this away. How much flint do I have? I've got flint all over the place. So much flint. I don't know what I'm doing with it all. Goat's milk. High quality base for um, swallow. There we go. Okay, I think we're good to go. Some rose. Let's just put some of this wine away. Plum cordial. I might take that with me. Uh, we've got some blueberries, I'm going to hang on to that. Uh, what else do I want to remove from my inventory? I think we're good to go. Ham sandwich, hold on to that. White gull, blizzard potion. Alright, cool. I think we're good to go. Beautiful. Thanks, uh, thanks Olaf. And um, let's see if this... If she wants to talk to me again. Probably not. What can I get you? Um, 
the beer. Yep. I'll bring it in a minute. You're quite a talker. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. In a minute, dear. I need to fill another order. All right. Zoltan. There's Zoltan. Uh, we've got uh, Shani still here. And we've got a, a bard and a violinist as well. Greetings, stranger. Funny, you remind me of someone. Who would that be? The famous witcher, Geralt, the White Wolf. Really? It's uncanny. White hair, sword across your back, streaked out of the ballads. Ah, uh, what a coincidence. What a coincidence. Many must mistake you for Geralt. Some do. Those songs must be popular. Master Dandelion, the Bard of Bards, has sung those ballads for years. Hmm. What's in your repertoire? Shall I sing for you, my lord? I wouldn't mind hearing something. Art soothes the soul, doesn't it? But I also need to eat. How about a contribution? Five orins? Ah, oh, sure. No wonder pretty lasses are so sublime. The taller the tree, the harder it is to climb. Neither lass nor tree That's not a song. <laughs> Just listen. All right, let's get out of here. I want my five orange back. That's terrible. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, so we've got to go and visit the townsfolk. We are kind of waiting for night time as well, but we're going to go and uh, chat with uh, with Odo, um, Odo Harrenbrog, and um, what's his name over here? It's not not coming up with his name, but uh, there is a guy up here uh, that we need to chat to as well. Those three, and uh, yeah, lots of quests for us to do here in the. Uh, I guess it's kind of the the first chapter of The Witcher, and. Um, yeah, we'll head down to Odo in the next episode. That is all the time we have for right now. So thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying this playthrough. We'll see you all again soon for the Witcher Enhanced Edition.